Hey guys, Luke Martin here and welcome to this week's Edgewater Property Market Update and also welcome to December. There's just a couple of weekends left now to get your property under offer before Christmas hits and we enter that festive break. Um, so there's still a couple of weeks, plenty of time. However, um, just a couple of things just to mention to everyone. If you're thinking about going to market before the year is out, my suggestion to you right now, depending on your situation, your circumstances, if you don't need to go onto the market until next year, I would very, very seriously consider waiting until January. Um, the buyer numbers in the urgency in the market that we're all experiencing right now, speaking to colleagues as well, um, has, has shifted quite dramatically. Um, it's not to say that you can't get a great result, but I do think there are a little bit more, there are a few more risks right now than what there were even a month ago. So just bear that in mind, if you want to discuss your particular circumstances and your plans, please feel free to give me a call. I'll pop my number in the details below in the text um, or in the email that you're receiving with this video. If I was a buyer though, what does it mean? Well, right now, um, you know, we had six home opens this weekend, three, oh, sorry, six properties open across both days. Three of those were brand new homes to the market in the last week and the most the highest number um, attendance wise we had at any of those homes for a single open was 12. So if I was a buyer right now, I'm looking at that going, well, two or three months ago, I probably had 30 plus groups going through those properties week one. Um, so there's less competition. And even though the prices haven't changed, I might just be up against less competing offers to secure that property that does come up that ticks the boxes. And I would see that as a win. Do I think that what we're experiencing is gonna stay long-term? No, I don't. My gut feel is this is just a phase in the market. It's been a long year. There's a little bit of buyer fatigue. Um, right now, it's very difficult if you're trying to buy and sell simultaneously. As we get closer to Christmas, subject to sale offers become very difficult uh, to manage because of the time delay over the Christmas um, period. Um, so I think we, the market naturally does see less buyers. And then of course, Christmas shopping, festivities, the social calendar gets fairly booked out at this time of the year as well. So probably a mixture of all of those things coming together. Um, you can still get a fantastic result on the sale of your home. Prices haven't changed. It's just that the market, the buyer numbers in the market have, uh, have reduced a little bit from what we saw probably a month or two ago. So with all that being said, in Edgewater last week, four new listings came on the market. One property went under offer and there's one sales result to talk about today. So Onto the market firstly, from yours truly, uh, 17 Magnolia Muse, a four bedroom, two bathroom, renovated kitchen and ensuite bathroom. The bathroom's really lovely and a swimming pool out the back. Elevated block with R2040 zoning. This property uh, was relatively well received over the weekend compared to our other listings. The numbers there were good. Um, so we had 12, 13 groups, I think, for the weekend through that one, excluding neighbors. Um, and that property has had offer packs sent out on it. So we'll see what this week brings. Um, so you're probably looking somewhere through the nines on that one. If you'd like more information, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to get you through. Um, the other properties to hit the market this week weren't through our offers, uh, but 15 Ranger Trail is now available. Um, and that's a three bedroom, two bathroom, as is four settler way. So it's a three by two with a swimming pool. That is, they are both now available. And then the other property to come onto realestate.com anyway, last week was eight Treetop Avenue. And that property was actually available via Rewa, uh, but it wasn't on realestate.com. So probably a lot of buyers didn't know about that one um, until this week. Under offer this week, so not through our office. Congratulations to everybody involved with the sale of 3A Homestead Gardens. So this is a three bedroom, one bathroom duplex home. It's actually the first duplex to hit the Edgewater market since January when we had a property on Regatta Drive. So uh, many congratulations there on that one. Um, I'm sure that would've been very well received and duplex market would be in hot demand at the moment due to affordability. And then the one sales result, again, not through our office this week, this one, uh, but 23 Lake Hill Gardens in the end sold for 1,000, sorry, 1,000. $1,202,500. And that was a large five bedroom home on a 975 square meter block. So many congratulations to everybody involved there. That's all for this week. If you're looking to buy in Edgewater, we've got 47 The Loop, which is an architecturally designed split level, four bedroom, two bathroom home. That's now, or that is available as is 17 Magnolia Muse. I've also got a 2003 built 
four bedroom, two bathroom coming to market this week. And this property has an amazing outdoor entertaining space. So if you want more information, please feel free to reach out. So they're all in Edgewater. Over in Joondalup, I've got a duplex at 23A Malawi Court. There's no common walls. It's just a shared carport. Really nice, um, beautiful outdoor space. Workshop there as well. So that's on the market, probably looking higher end of the 600s based on the feedback we've had over the weekend. Six Koi Pass, a place in Joondalup as well, which is a fairly original four bedroom, two bathroom, but well maintained, well presented. That is now available. Um, over on the coast, we've got 140 Seacrest Drive um, in Sorrento, and this is a four bedroom plus a study. Um, very well finished property. So it was an 88 built Webb and Brown Neves X display home. Um, three living spaces, two dining, really good proportions. Um, that's an amazing home. So that one is available, probably looking around the mid ones uh, for that one. So mid one millions. And then over in Banksy Grove, 14 Nutcote Road, um, which is a four bedroom, two bathroom, built in 2014. That is currently available. We do have offers pending on that property. So please reach out if you want any information on all of those. Um, and if you're looking to buy next year, we've got a number of properties, including some amazing Lakeview homes coming to market early next year. So please feel free to reach out if you want any information on any of those. That's all for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, if you've got any questions on the market or if you'd like to know where your property sits price-wise in this market, I just want to have a chat about maybe your plans going forward and how best to uh, navigate those. Please do give me a call. We'd love to come and have a chat. We're still very much working in, for the next two weekends. Um, so give me a call 0419 769 529. Have a fantastic week. Welcome to December and I'll speak to you again soon.